Hi, and welcome back. This is lesson five in the series of the 40K uh, Basecamp and Power Network training. Um, and what we're going to do in this lesson is syndicate your blog. This is very, very important because once you have your blog done, you need to syndicate it so you can get eyeballs on your content. And this is how we're going to do it. So I just created this particular blog post, and this uh, um, really falls into a lot of what uh, the, the last three lessons just taught was uh, I built this through Article Builder, right? And uh, if you take a look, I've added pictures as we go through here. Uh, you know, it's interesting. I picked nine paragraphs uh, to talk about this affiliate marketing uh, 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 article. And you can see here, you know, it was talking about utilizing a reliable tracking service. So I just went out and I found a picture of an affiliate tracking software company uh, just to really kind of put a visual picture to, uh, to what what it is that I'm talking about. Now I didn't, you know, there are some blog posts that I did a picture for every particular paragraph. You can do that. Um, I didn't do that here. I just picked a few and popped it in there. But it's important for you to uh, understand the call to action in your particular blog post. So this one, and it needs to be relevant to, uh, you know, the content in that post. So I put here down at the bottom, picking the right affiliate is important. I use Empower Network as my primary affiliate. Watch this short video that explains how you can cash in with 100% uh, commissions in affiliate marketing. So I put my um, my picture down there that links to my capture page. There's a call to action. Okay, so that's another example of a call to action. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and syndicate it uh, over to uh, starting with uh, Facebook and um, and I think about four other. I'm going to show you uh, in this uh, in this tutorial here for other social networks. So the first thing you want to do is you want to uh, navigate to my social empire. Now there's two there's two websites, mysocialempire.net and social media bar. Okay? They both do the same thing. Social media bar was developed by Chris Record in uh, Empower Network uh, of Team Tate Massive Action and there's actually a video there. That, uh, that kind of explains how to do this that I'm explaining in this tutorial uh, for Social Media Bar because I'm going to explain how to use My Social Empire. Now understand they're both pretty much the same thing. The only difference between the two uh, is uh, My Social Empire, actually you can create a user ID uh, that will allow you to, to have uh, link tracking, uh, meaning when you post this, you can go in there and I'm going to show you right now what I'm talking about. So I created, you know, create, it's free, so create a free user ID. And if you go into Link Archive right here, so now you'll take a look at all of the uh, posts that I've syndicated all the way back. I started using this uh, in the middle of February. So you can see, you know, you can see some have over 100 uh, page views. Um, and let me go back up to the top here. So the last one, this one did really well, 118 page views for 16 email marketing tips to explode your business, which was yesterday's blog post. So here's how you do it, guys. Um, you wanna go ahead and click Link Creator. And, uh, sorry, that's my cell phone going off there. Um, and so here's what we do. Okay, so you've got this up, mysocialempire.net. Now you wanna go back to your published blog post Grab the URL right there, okay? Bring that over here. Pop that in destination URL. And now the URL slug is what is going to show up uh, for My Social Empire, and this is the link that you're going to put in uh, the social networks. So you can shorten this. Um, so let's see, uh, uh, I'm going to put uh, Power Tools. And it's good to separate the words with a dash here, uh, so it's it's legible to uh, people that that are actually reading it instead of, um, you know, just all one word. You can't use spaces, by the way, because this is a, a, a website URL. So make sure you put dashes or underscore or something. Um, so power tools for affiliate marketing. Uh, Phil, am I spelling that right? Affiliate marketing. Sorry, can't spell. Uh, affiliate marketing. Okay, power tools for affiliate marketing. So mysocialempire.net forward slash power tools for affiliate marketing is going to be the website URL that you're going to pop into Facebook. Okay, so page title. Here's a quick and easy way to do this. Then this is the way that I do it. So I go back to my post and I just grab the headline 
from my post, bring that over here, put that in the page title. Page description, I grab the first paragraph of my blog post and pop that in the page description. You're going to see how this all comes together in a second in Facebook. Okay, Image URL. So when you go uh, to uh, Facebook and you take a look at a blog post, it's going to show a little picture. That's what this is for, is to generate that thumbnail. So you can either upload your own picture to uh, uh, like screen share, um, uh, screen share, no, screencast, screencast.com uh, through a little app called Jing. And I'll, I'll probably do a, uh, a training on that if you don't know about uh, Jing. It's a free tool where you, can, where you can grab anything off the internet and then share it to screencast uh, that literally creates um, you know, a, a, a URL link for that particular image. That's what we need here. We need a URL link to a particular image. So here's how I'm going to do it. Without having to do any of that screen grab or anything, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to do this. So this is about affiliate marketing, right? So just the same way I showed you how to embed uh, an image in a blog post, I'm going to show you the same way. I'm going to uh, select affiliate marketing and I'm going to click on images and I'm going to find something uh, really compelling. Now this might be a little bit too uh, racy of a picture so um, I'm not going to pick that even though it's actually kind of cool. Uh, <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, going down the list um, you know I'm just looking for something that is uh, eye grabbing uh, that really kind of relates to what we're doing. Um, here's a picture. That's that's kind of cool. Um, here's one. Here's a cool one right here, right? Kind of cool. Kind of gives you a little bit of idea. Um, yeah, this is great. Now, understand that um, the image that you pick is going to it's going to crop if it's really, really large. This, this is, this is uh, 525 by 301. Remember when I told you about more sizes? I'm going to click this. I'm going to hope that there's more sizes for this, and you want to pick something around 200 by 100. Perfect. So here's a great example. So if you look down here, now you can pick something in that range. I'm going to pick this uh, 250 uh, by 143 and hope all of that uh, fits. So 240 by 137. Yeah, I'm going to pick that one. So you click on that. Now here's the image. You don't want to click on the image. You want to right click and select view image. Okay, that is going to pick up the U the URL the the link to that particular image. There's the JPEG right on the end. Okay, hope you're following me here. I'm going to kind of click on this. So you copy this URL and just pop it in there. Okay, and then hit create link. Your link has been successfully created. There is the uh, URL to the link. I click that. Okay. And wait for this to pop up. And you're going to see that uh, your blog post is now going to be embedded in my social empire with some really, really great uh, advantages. Number one is it's going to be, uh, you're going to be able to embed this in Facebook. Don't try and embed just your Empower Network uh, blog link in Facebook because Facebook shut down the um, the linking capabilities to Empower Network in August of last year. Uh, so this is uh, a workaround to that. Okay, so so now what you have is uh, your your blog post. Now we're going to take this link here and we're going to go to Facebook and I'm doing this live. So uh, if you look on my Facebook, you will see um, this. One second here. Let's go to Facebook, and I'm going to post this on my um, business page, which is the 40k formula. Okay. Scroll down, and so this is the one that I did yesterday, right? The 16 tips. Uh, hold on. Which page is changing on me? 16 tips, right there. You see the cool picture. Um, so. Just so you know, and I'm going to give a little exercise right here is, uh, and I'm going to use a sizer just so you can see this. And that's actually like 150 by 100. 
So you might even want to go uh, closer to that size when you're picking the image size for this. So I'm going to go up to the top here and I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to put in the link. Okay, so you're going to see that it pops up now. So now you see that little image, you see the title that we put in and the description. This is key, guys, um, because it creates a nice, beautiful link uh, here on uh, Facebook. That's my dog. <laughs> uh, so, so right here, you can also, you know, personalize it, saying, um, uh, you know, if you're a marketer, marketer, these tips are vital. Um, and let me get the spelling on that right. Okay, dot, dot, dot. Okay, so now that I've got that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, post this. Okay, so now here it is. If you're a marketer, these tips are vital. Okay, the picture is looking great. Um, and you know when they click anywhere in here, it's going to go directly to their uh, to your blog post. Now, how cool is that, right? Uh, so, free tool. Go ahead and use it. Um, one more step before we go, because now that we've posted to Facebook, you can take this and you can share this over to uh, the um, our AIG Empowered Blogs group, right? So, uh, let me let me back up to make sure that you know how to do that. So, there's the share button right there. You click share. You drop this down, and it's in a group. You find Nicole Cooper's Empowering AIG Blogs. AIG empowering box and then uh, go ahead and, and write something it can be the same text that you used uh, going out to you know uh, everyone on your wall or your Facebook page your biz page so uh, let's see um, uh, awesome article article if I can spell about affiliate marketing marketing enjoy Okay, so the reason that you're syndicating here first is because everyone in this blogging group is going to uh, not everyone, but if uh, you know I, I I'm active in the group and you can and go to other people's blogs and comment and share, and the law of reciprocation is that if you do that, then those people should go ahead and comment and share on your blog. Okay, and they have a quick link to it, so I'm going to share uh, the link there. Okay, so. So that's how you share links uh, through um, your wall or your page, and you may have done the, already done that before. Um, so let's go back to uh, My Social Empire. So here's, again, My Social Empire. And this is the cloaked link for your blog post. But now watch this. Now we're going to syndicate to um, four other uh, uh, social networks, right? So up here, right up at the top there, now here's what I do because I'm going to show you how to uh, to syndicate this, but you want to have a little bit of text to put in this um, in the box. And I'm gonna what, what I mean by that is um, so if we go back to Facebook and we take a look at uh, um, so let me take this one right. It's very very short here. This one sometimes it's longer. Um, like yesterday's how to how how effectively are you using your email marketing in your business? These tips will help. I misspelled that. My wife told me about that, but uh, it was a little bit too late. So make sure you, you spell check before you post. <laughs> uh, so we're going to go back to uh, the blog post here. Now I'm going to share this to my Google profile. Watch how easy this is. Okay. So I plus one it and now I'm going to share it. I'm going to add that comment and hit share. Bang, I've just syndicated that out to Google+. I'm hardly on Google+, but there's a huge market in Google+. You need to utilize Google+, and I just syndicated that post to my profile on Google+. Uh, the next one is, the next button over here is Stumble Upon. Okay. Um, there's not a whole lot of, uh, uh, of, of categories, so I always pick Internet. You can look through the categories and pick the one that you like. You can add tags there if you like, and you just paste 
a quick comment, click add this page, and bang, I just syndicated to StumbleUpon. Back to uh, my social empire here, I'm going to click LinkedIn. And again, on the first time through, you need to link uh, you know, these social networks and your profiles to it. But once it's linked, it's done, and it'll pop up like this. Again, I'm just putting in a quick comment, hitting share. And you can see up here uh, that all of the same stuff came over in LinkedIn um, that was in Facebook. Okay, so now it's syndicated to LinkedIn. I'm going to tweet this. Bang, just tweeted it. Okay, and I'm going to like it on my personal page there. Um, when you hit like, this little confirm button will come up. Make sure you click that and click like. Now that's going to show up on my um, personal uh, my wall. So what I what I've done now is I've started to stagger uh, the syndication. So if you have a page, put on your page first. If you don't have a biz page, then just put on your wall first. But if you've got both. Don't syndicate at the same time because in the newsfeed it's going to show just both in the in the newsfeed. Use you know stagger them uh, an hour or two apart. So syndicate to your biz page first if if you have a biz page, and then a couple hours later, um, go ahead and and share it to your wall because you'll see right now on my wall that uh, it shows here that I liked it, but it's not showing up on my wall yet because I haven't shared it to my wall. Okay, so. Um, close okay so now you've syndicated it to one two three four five social networks the other thing that you can do down here is this is through empower network so if you tweet it here which I would recommend this is going to come through empower network with a little bit different of a of a, of a description and then also just a plus one it there okay so now you're syndicated across five social networks. Now, other social networks that you're that you're uh, uh, a part of, like I just uh, got involved with Feed, so you know that that's a little bit more of a step because you can't syndicate from here. But if you have other um, social networks, definitely uh, use this tool uh, or actually this URL to uh, syndicate because of the beautiful picture. So this was a little bit longer of a lesson, but uh, hopefully you got a lot out of that. So now you got your blog post, go and syndicate it, and we will see you on uh, Nicole's uh, Empowered Blog group. Uh, and I look forward to commenting and syndicating your blog post. See you in lesson six.